Indeed, friends, the sinner has no need to fear. If there is no God, the sinner has no need to fear. Man can live however he wants to live. If there is no God, he has no penalty, no consequence to his life, except in this life. But if the Bible is true, and there is a supreme God who will judge the earth, there will be hell to pay for the unrepentant sinner. Whether you be homosexual, unrepentant homosexual, unrepentant lesbian, unrepentant transgender, bisexual, unrepentant uh, murderer, unrepentant uh, thief, unrepentant covetous person, unrepentant uh, fornicator, unrepentant adulterer, unrepentant person who uh, is a pedophile, or, or who in, in, in engages in bestiality or other form of sexual uh, immorality uh, according to the word of God there will be hell to pay Hebrews 8 13 verse 8 says Jesus Christ the same yesterday today and forever Malachi 3 verse 6 says I am God I change not and if these if these Bible word of God are true then the sinner will will learn sooner or later no president no president can change alter the word of god and 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 come out on top no president whether it be our beloved barack obama or or some other president or queen queen or king or bishop or prelate or minister because in uh matthew chapter 24 verse 30 jesus 35 jesus said heaven and earth will pass but his word will never pass away. And it is he, God, who determines what is right, what is wrong, what is sinful, and what is not. And what is holy, and what is not. And no man have any authority to alter the word of God Almighty. So I'm sorry for those who think they can point their finger in the face of God and tell him that what he did was wrong when he created Adam and Eve to procreate the, the, the nation and to praise him. And when he said in his word... That is immoral, abominable behavior. Now, I don't, we condemn behaviors. We don't condemn people. The Bible does not condemn people unless you, you, you choose to, to, um, to remain in your sinful behavior, rebel against God and his word. Then he tells you that it will be eternal banishment to hell. And if you want to run that risk, then it's up to you. I have many friends who are lesbians and uh, homosexuals co-workers and all that and we don't have nothing against each other but this is my job as a man of God to warn them that there's a heaven to gain and a hell to shun and that unless we all repent Luke 13 13 we shall all likewise perish says Jesus Christ um, so we need to repent friend before death come because when death come there's no repentance in the grave and we shall face the Almighty God and the wrath of God Almighty so please, friends, this is my duty to warn you. Never mind what presidents say, our kings, our queens, our LGB, or whoever else. It is my duty to stand on the word of God and warn you to repent. Seek the Lord before it is too late. Isaiah 55, verse 6 and 7. Uh, he says, uh, Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near, friend. Let the wicked forsake his ways. It's the word of God, not mine. Matthew 4 4, Luke 4 4. Jesus says, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. The antediluvians didn't believe in nowadays until the flood came and took them all away, even the suckling on the breast. The people in Sodom and Gomorrah, because of sexual immorality, didn't believe either until God rained down fire and brimstone from them. And God tells us that the last days will be the same. And here we are with Bible being fulfilled. Even the gay and lesbian themselves never believed that they could gain such a strong foothold in the world. And now even the church is quivering in a corner. Many of the powerful preachers who claim that they know God and they have special contact with God won't even lift a finger to warn the people. And yet they say they are on the Lord's side. It is our duty to warn the people. We can't force them and we don't hate them. But unless the watchman 
give the sound the watchman will be just as guilty as the sinners may god bless you may you seek the lord friend before it is too late amen